This is it. This is Bashame's Vinland. The Rice Field episode. Episode 10. It's been hinted since like, what, how long ago? Like, like the first couple episodes? Let's see how hype it's actually gonna be. Hmm? What? Rice fields? Cherry blossoms? Yeah, this is like what? The second springtime of third year? What? Wait! Yeah, it was stuck in the Sasaya Space Time Dimension. It is stuck in there, bro. It's just repeating. We've had multiple seasons. People being stuck in the same year. Nokotan, what's going on? She's heartbroken. We're gonna we're gonna get baited. Is it because we threw all your secret stash of deer crackers away at the top of the building last episode? Springtime nostalgia? <laughs> oh. I see. That's it. Allergies. Yeah. Pollen? Like, deers actually can't get allergies? Allergies are unique to humans? I think this is cap. I don't know. She's about to ascend. There's plenty of deers outside not getting affected, though. Wait. If the other deers outside aren't affected, but Nokotan is, that proves that Nokotan is indeed human and not deer. Part human, part deer. We know this. <laughs> yeah, look at the deers outside. They're perfectly fine, but you're not. <laughs> Look at that stepping ladder. She's allergic too? Even the pollens kind of look like Nokotan's face. One in the right's probably blaming it on herself. Okay. She's the one calling us a dumb human? It's actually working! Maybe Neko can be the real owner. No, Kino is just, is just schizo. Give it to Neko. You wanna use this? Neko's back! I know her head comes off, but a hose from one outlet to the other and it works. It's like an extension of a hose. Okay. I <laughs> All good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Cherry blossoms. <laughs> she needs like a sheet for her antlers to pr like protect it from the pollen. <laughs> Did it just sneeze through the antlers? It did. No. Yes, it did. <laughs> the deers hear it. They're coming to our rescue. Let's just go down just fucking burning all the fucking trees. I'm down. That's kind of evil. What? True, we have seen that. That animation scene was so cool. They're all bombs. Terrorist Nokotan. Your outfit, bro. Comrade. 
You got a dictator outfit on now. What the hell? No to pollen. We have mobilized an army of deers to cut down the cedar trees. Dude, what the hell is this outfit? Straight up, Nokutan is a dictator now. And on, on the left side, like, it's kind of cute outfit. It makes me look like a vigilante. Hmm? <laughs> Why? This is a this is a vet. What do you what do you mean? Koshitan goes. Wait, what is She's hospitalized? How's your rice field going? あいつが犬と鹿部の子にも来てるから報告だけどっか言ってるんだよな。たら私のこの城鹿部の存続も危ぶまれ。<笑><笑> Arranging flowers, but what does that really mean? Okay. Uh huh. Wow. They're all fine with it. Granny, crackers! She's doing a magic trick? Crush out the deer crackers. We're tenderizing the crackers. Shake it up. Nice. What is the point of that? What? Was that the garnish? Okay, we're arranging antlers, by the way. Yeah, how'd she find her? She's just planting antlers in the flower beds. Uh, sure, I get the reference, but I don't get it. That's a bit way too deep. No. <laughs> nice flowers. <laughs> what? This lacks impact? Dude, look at this decoration. It's beautiful. Okay. I guess so, compared to it. What does that mean? It needs better nutrition? Umami? Hold, wait, 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 wait. You're not a food critic. What do you mean, umami? This is a master chef shit. Yo, these looks like those fucking Pokemons. I forget. Uh, yeah, I forget the fucking names. This, this reminds me of the Pokemons, though. Weeping Bell? I think it's Weeping Bell, yeah, maybe. Pinch of salt. A guitar! She can't play it. <laughs> You're just strumming random fucking noises. There's no harmony here. What is this performance? Apparently, it's a Doraemon reference. And that's the problem with this show. And it's not a problem. It's not that we're not the target audience. Because half the fucking jokes in this show are simply references of boomer fucking anime times back in the day. I have no fucking understanding of any of those references that all they're making is super specific to Japanese culture and old time jokes. How the fuck am I supposed to know that shit? The Weeping Bells love it though. They are alive, yes. They're carnivorous flowers maybe. <laughs> It's like a Venus flytrap, but she's just done, bro. Goodbye. Yes, death of your teacher. Uh-huh. Amazing. What? You're leaving? <gasps> I'm tired of it. Basame is still growing the field. It's like a jello. Is it time? Is it time? I think it's time. The rice hat's on. Damn! Okay, here's the rice patties. 
probably reading our sister's diaries, right? <laughs> Rejected immediately before I even asked? Yeah, come on, help out. That's right, seven episodes. Dude, Nokotan just swimming in this one, bro. This is the snow. Seven episodes, bro. Nokotan just plowing the fields too, kind of. Seven episodes in the making. This thing is still here. Can Tsuchi help? Can it help? Oh, it's so perfectly lined up. What? Oh my god. Oh, it's the fucking perfect worker. Bro, it's doing two at a time. Holy shit. And it's lined up perfectly too. Wow. Perfect labor. <laughs> True power levels? Oh. Batsami, you kind of fucked everything up though. Uncle, what you think? Good work. Nice, Suchi. Oh, Uncle prepared that for us? Three out of ten? He eats chalk. Suchi is good. Yo, this Uncle Bashimi scene is actually so wholesome and nice. You know what? I am right about this show. The weakest part is Koshitan's straight man acts. See how good this show is when Koshitan's not here? When you remove Koshitan's annoyance about the jokes, then the show is a lot more, like, palpable. But the whole fucking formula is everyone's crazy, then Koshitan is a straight man and acts in shock, and it's kind of, like, kind of annoying, straight up. If Koshitan would straight up just, like, lean into the jokes, if course time would also just be as crazy, I think the show will be a lot better. That's what I think, man. A bigger rice patty. Hmm? Pick some plums? She just put that on Suchi. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get pickled plums and a rice ball party next up. Set up. Mm -hmm. And that is today's episode of Nokotan. And we finally got the rice field. And honestly, this whole rice field thing, it wasn't as extravagant as I thought it was gonna be. I thought that it's gonna be the bulk of the episode. But it was. I think it delivered. Like, I was like wondering what it's gonna be. It was a wholesome story of Anko not wanting to join, but she was, you know, preparing some extra, like, food for, you know, the onigiri, right? For uh, Bashame and Sutsi, and Sutsi is, like, super fast at planting. It was actually funny. Like, I genuinely think that <laughs> when Koshitan is in frame, I don't hate her, but the jokes just are eh. Right? Everything here of the flower arrangement shit is funny, except for Koshitan's reactions to it. I'm sorry, bro. It's just the formula just, I don't know, I think it's overused. And having a straight man is kind of boring. I'd rather Koshitan also join in the fucking crazy chaos together. I think it'd be a lot more fun. But this is Bashami's Vinland. We finally got it. She's going to go picking plums next and she's got a new purpose. And quite a wholesome episode ending between Bashami, Anko and Suchi, and that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.